What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Industrial One, and we are continuing on with Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I found another few tips and tricks to make the experience a little bit better in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my settings, and then we're going to change the camera acceleration all the way down. And then we're going to turn the camera sensitivity up close to the edge. And I've heard that this, like, makes your... Um, kind of your movement speed and everything like that, your camera movement speed and all that stuff, like, significantly better. And it makes things... Because you know how there's a... Uh, people that have played the game feel, know that there's a bit of a weight to the camera system, and this makes it so much, like, smoother when moving the camera around and stuff. And yes, it really does. So, proud to say that that is a true thing. All right. Let's go ahead and start this party. So, first things first is we're going to jump up on our quest. And thank you so much for all the love and support on the game so far. Thank you, of course, to WB Games for allowing me to show this off to you guys. Uh, the Deluxe Edition, you know, obviously is not cheap. So, thank you to them, which means thanks to all of you for allowing my channel to be successful enough for them to warrant giving me a copy of the game to show off to all of you. Um, all right. So, we got we need to meet Little Sebastian. Uh, we got Professor Sharps. We need to acquire and use a Focus Potion. Acquire Maxima and Endurus Potion and use them simultaneously. And we get Depulso. We also have the Ghost of Our Love. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. That one's going to be a little hard for me. I'm not very good at treasure hunts. But I want to start getting this one um, started. So in order to do that, the first thing that we're going to head to is Hogsmeade. And then inside Hogsmeade, we need to go to the potions, so we'll set here. Hogsmeade, here I come. Alright, and it should be just, I guess, from where I start. I think it's up here. That's the magic Hello. key. Be with you in a bit. All right, hold on. Let me. It's that one. Okay. It really is right across from it. All right. What can I do for you today? Yeah, because, you, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, for those that haven't changed that, like, like, there's a lot of weight to the camera system and to your, to your body and stuff like that. So when you turn down that camera acceleration, and then, um, it, it really, really does help quite a bit. Okay, focus potion recipe. Look at how much. That is, t wow, but we have plenty of money. It's not like we're in need of money. <laughs> um... So there's the potion rex, uh, max, maxima potion recipe, and increases the drinker's spell damage for- So what was it? I know we need the focus. And one thing I wanted to note as well in this game, um, you know, a lot of RPGs allow you to be able to, you know, grind to get the stuff that you need, but there are things you absolutely 100% have to buy in this game that you just can't do otherwise without buying the recipe. So, this is one of those things where you need to get the fo Focus Potion recipe. That way you can start brewing it in your own uh, room of requirement or, you know, down in the Herbology area. Uh, recipe for a potion that reduces the drinker's spell. So, we have to purchase this right now. A wise decision. Thank Thunder you. Brew, Invisibility, and Maxima. Uh, I think I need Maxima as well, but let me back out of here and just to make sure I'll when I look at the again. thing. Well, yes, well, acquire Maxima and Eateris potions and use them simultaneously. Now, we should already have Eateris potions. We've got the invisibility and we've got an Eateris potion. Um, so we don't have to do that. And there's a focus, reduce the drinker spell cooldown. Um, we're going to create that here in just a second. Um... Oh, I'm very, very ashamed, ashamed of myself, Karen. Dude, listen, I play games because I'm a video game person who does walkthroughs and does his job for a living. Okay? I understand how you might be upset, and I, I'm, I, I wish that wasn't the case. Alright? 
It's the same thing as saying if you go out and you see somebody, you see a movie because uh, a dumbass said something really stupid, right? Like, say, James Gunn, who said a lot of really stupid and crazy things, you know, back when he was doing his comedy days, right? A lot of racist, horrible, horrible things, right? And how, how are we ever going to learn and grow if we just continue to, to bash people for the things that they say? We all learn and we all grow as people. So technically, if you've ever seen a James Gunn movie, then you should be ashamed of yourself. You're a horrible person and you deserve not to be a part of this world. That's the same thing, okay? So, I'm sorry if you agree with boycotting this game, but I don't agree with boycotting any game, okay? Because there are developers that spend years of their lives away from their families to make this game. And if you're going to boycott something because of what someone else says that didn't have any say in this game whatsoever, then good for you. All right? But don't, don't tell other people that they're awful people because they want to play a game. I want to be lost in this world because this world means more to me than you do. Okay? And so, yeah, I said it. That's all you're going to hear from me of it. If you don't want to watch, please go away and go tend to your garden or something. There. Sorry, I just, I can't stand people that try to tell other people how to live. All right, so I need the Maxima, right? Because I don't think I have, I have focus, I have invisibility, but as you can see, I don't have Maxima, so I have to purchase the recipe. So Maxima is something we need. What can I do for you today? No, that's only your truth, okay? There is no such thing as telling them what they need to know the truth. Sorry. Listen, you, you are more than welcome to believe in what you want to believe in. I will never hinder someone in believing their right to believe what they want. If the game is a travesty to you, then don't play it. But don't come and watch other people that are playing it and then tell them that they are horrible people because of it. No, that won't fly. to see you again. Farewell for now. Have respect. You want me to have respect for the situation that you're talking about, but yet you want to disrespect me? I'm sorry, but you, you you can't you can't do that. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about any of that stuff. Obviously, the things that she has said to some people are very very offensive, and to other people they are not offensive. Okay. I do not agree with what she says. I think everyone has a right to feel and be who they want to be in this life. But I also believe in God, Sometimes so I'm I'm mixed. Okay, I believe and I see in both sides because I love everyone. I don't care if you like the same sex. I don't care if you don't. I believe everyone has a right to be happy. Okay, so I believe in your cause and I believe that what you feel is true in your heart. But it's not going to keep me from playing a video game that I've wanted to play for 20 years of my life. Okay. Especially when that person had nothing to do with this game and there are people on the actual game itself Developers that are on your side, but they still spent Time hours and effort into making this game because they love Harry Potter and they love what Harry Potter stands for in the series and everything All right, so take a long good look at yourself When you sit there and tell other people that they're horrible because of one thing or another All right Be better We all must be better Okay, if you're done with us, then buy. Here, I will make it very, very easy for you. There. We never have to hear you again. Just like you, I'm done with you. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's just, I hate when people come on to other people's channels and then start acting a fool. I won't have it, alright? This is a place for gaming, this is a place for what we love, and we love gaming, alright? I don't care what anyone says outside of this world right now. That has nothing to do with me, that has nothing to do with this game. We play games on here, right? Everyone has different ideologies and beliefs, alright? I'm not about here to sit here and tell you that you're a horror person because you believe in Trump. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you a horror person because you, you don't believe in Trump. It doesn't matter. This is a video gaming channel. Let's all be peaceful and just enjoy our love of video games, okay? All right, so first thing that I need to do now is we're inside here, so why don't we fast travel? And I do apologize for having that rant, but I knew it was going to have to happen at some point. Uh, and I'm sorry. I mean, I understand why she's upset. I understand 
It just, it really pisses me off. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I, I tell everybody how I feel, and that's just how I am. And... I know it's going to alienate some people, but I'm not trying to alienate you because you're 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 completely right in not wanting to play this game if that's how you feel. I will never say that you you shouldn't do that, but please don't tell other people that they're horrible people because of that because they're not. All right, they just they want to be lost in this world as much as I do, and they have every right to be lost in this world as well. Don't don't tell other people how to live their life. Just. If you if you if you don't like them, take them out of your life. If that's what if you want to surround yourself with yes people, then you do that. All right. Don't have people that have different beliefs you than you. If that's how you want to live. You've brewed. But that's not how I want to live. I want to have people that are on this channel that disagree with me. I would love to have you here, uh, even if you you know don't like something. But if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna sit there and tell me that I am a horrible person because I'm playing this game, then I then bye. Have a great day. Be safe, and I do hope you have a great life. But sorry, I don't respect you enough to include you in this channel if if you want to insult me. All right, so we need to do the um, Maxima Potion, right? We need to brew one. Well, it just says, hold on. It says acquire, use them simultaneously. All right, so we do need to have one. That takes 29 seconds. That's not too bad. Just such a huge fan of Harry Potter. It's like the same thing. It's like Sean Connery, you know, smacked a woman. But am I am I gonna uh, watch not watch James Bond because of some idiotic thing that he did, which he's apologized for? I know maybe you know, she believes in what she believes. All right, she believes the things that she believes in. J.K. Rowling herself. I'm not gonna. I, I'm sorry, but that's she can choose to do what she wants, just like you can choose to do what you want. But the moment you start telling me or anyone else that's around me how to think or what to do that's not what we're here for we're here to play games i'm not here for that i'm sorry all right pick up there we go all right so we still should have a eateris potion it only takes 30 seconds um but we already have one so let's just acquire and use a focus potion what's the focus potion I did get one, right? Maxima focus. There we go. So we need one of these. And that takes one minute, so we got a little bit of time here. Alright, so let's brew that. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. And again, I apologize for, for going out like that, guys. You don't need to hear it. It's not something that needs to be talked about in this channel. We're not a political channel. We don't talk about those things. It's this this is a, this is a gaming channel. That's what this space is for. If you want to say your beliefs, use Twitter, because everybody does, except me, because I don't really. I mean, I'm just focused on my life, protecting my family, and being in my own little world. But I, I appreciate everybody out there that has all different kinds of views and beliefs, and sometimes mine are not going to line up with yours. Sometimes they will, and that's okay. All right, it doesn't mean I think you're a horrible person because you believe in something that I don't. I think you're wonderful, I think you're great, and I think that everyone is different. That's that's one of God's beautiful creations. Is he's made everyone different. They're they're their own person. You be you. But just don't come into other people's channel or spaces and you know, tear them down just to make yourself feel better. Alright, I'm done with that. We're all done with it. Um, I'm not gonna make fun of her because her name is Karen. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. I, I never liked that whole Karen thing, <laughs> but it did stick, and it's, I mean, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. So just because her name was Karen doesn't mean it suits her or anything like that. I'm sure she's a great and warm person, but you just, you don't come on here and, and, and treat me like I'm a nobody. Don't treat anybody like they're a nobody. It's gotta be better. Alright, so... I think I have what I need. So it just says I need to acquire and use Focus Potion, acquire Maxima and Eduris Potions, and use them simultaneously. Okay, so that means acquire and use Focus. So I should just be able to go to Focus and use it by hitting L1. Boom. No, I know I'm not using it in a situation. It only lasts for 15 seconds, see?
Um, exactly. She, to, to, she, uh, I mean, she's she's wrong in a lot of ways, but isn't it going to make me play? It is going to make me not play this game. I mean, come on, it's Harry Potter. She created something truly amazing. Hate her all you want, but what she created is what we're here for. All right, so next up is Maxima and this. So I'm guessing that it says acquire Maxima and Endurance Potions and use them simultaneously. So what that means is I need to equip them and use them at the same time. So first one. Excellent. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Now that is pretty cool. Look at that. That is that looks super super cool. And look look the developers have put some amazing things, man. Diversity in video games is definitely something I 100% support. And we've already seen that diversity in this video game itself. So the people that are boycotting, I just don't understand when they actually look at the game and they see the diversity that they're literally saying we uh we don't get enough of is literally in the game so i just sometimes i don't understand it i mean hey do what you do but jeez <coughs> i always hate talking about this stuff because all it does is alienate certain people in um on your community, and I don't want to alienate anybody. I want this place to be a place for everybody and all of their beliefs. Remember, I'm I'm a Hufflepuff at heart, right? So I care about everyone. I care about what everybody thinks. I want to please everyone. Those are the Hufflepuffs of the world, and that's who I truly am. And I'm okay with that. I know I'm not the hero. You can't always be the hero, but I can be the person that supports the hero. I can be the person that gives the hero a shoulder to lean on. And that's what it's all about, too. Alright, so I want to attend potions class. I'm not sure which mission that one is. But we're going to attend potions class. That way we can learn a new spell. Now, on another adventure, are we? Angelica, all three? We're always on an adventure. I saw a video where uh, two of the the knights that are like stationed next to each other can um, can fight each other. <laughs> I want to see that. I wish the classes were more than just a mira uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, um, in movies, a montage. I want them to be more than just a montage. You know, I want to actually participate in class and do stuff. But I understand why that's not all in here because that's tough. I mean, with the size of this game and everything that's involved with it, it would be really, really tough to, to make it How a simulator. Are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Yes, I agree. There's way too much hate in this world, man. We need more love. Love for everyone. And include everyone. No matter what you believe, no matter how you feel, who you are. Believe in everybody. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the Enchanted Books here. Alright, so, the Enchanted Books. Alright, so we just unlocked Repulso. Which one is Repulso? Um... Or not Repulso. Uh, where is it? I'll find it, I promise. There it is. The Pulso repels many types of objects and enemies with considerable force. Also, it deals no direct damage to foes. Enemies and objects 
alike can be launched into each other with destructive results. Also useful for pushing and spinning objects for a variety of purposes. All right, so it is a purple. So that means we have to assign it to one of our purples. Um, so this one specifically, the down is always going to be my... Um, I mean, that does kind of suck if I do it that way, but... Remember, I want purple to always be in that side, right? Um, and uh, what's the other... And these ones can always be on the bottom, right? You just have to ask yourself which ones do you want. Uh, because you, you never know what you're going to actually want. So let's make our invisibility there. We can, we can have our light be at the bottom. And then we'll put this one at the top. Because those really don't matter. We only use those in situations when we're in the room of requirement, right? Um, there, there, and there. So yeah, everything. One, two... Yeah. So, on my second one is Repulso. Or, no, I keep saying Repulso, but I mean, you know what I mean. Alright. Accio! That's Accio. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Repulso! Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Well... Repetition can be an excellent teacher. Oh, is that something? I just saw it. Revelio. Oh, I thought I saw it. It's giving me the thing like there's something. Oh, it is. It's right here. Yes. Professor Shops Aura Badge. Auras comprise the Ministry of Magic Law Enforcement to protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aurora badge belongs to Professor's shop. It's gonna get- I, I, it's gonna take me a while to get used to... Revelio. All of it, I think, but we will. Sure, there's nothing else over here. All right, so we did that. So now, what's next? Um, probably not a bad idea. Does it actually cost? It does cost stuff. Ashwin eggs, but I haven't really felt the need to use of it. I am going to be using some of this stuff when we get a little bit later on in the game. But in the very beginning of the game, as you could clearly see, I, I there really has not been a need to use it yet. All right, let's go up with our quests now. So we have in the shadow of the Undercroft, which is meets little Sebastian. And we have the quest of our love and that's all we have. Let me actually look at the map and see if there's any other ones that have opened up for us. Nope, it's all white. So that tells you that there's no missions in there. Um, a secret hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch. Yeah, uh, yeah, we already did that one. Um, I'm guessing we're going to need to use that again. Otherwise, why would they even give us that? All right, so let's go ahead and... Let me get rid of this wave point. Hold on. They really don't need that. Huh. There we go. Track. All right. I mean, it's only just right here. I believe with Sebastian's quest, that's when we're going to start learning the dark arts magic. But I know that there is a negative effect. I, don't, I know there's a, a negative ending, uh, a bad ending and whatnot. I don't know if you use those things or if you do his quests, you're going to automatically get the bad ending. Because I don't want the bad ending. I want the good ending. I'm not sure how that works. I guess we'll have to find out. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. All right, so no, unfortunately, I can't give you a free copy of the game because I don't have the money to do that. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. 
I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. I do kind of regret telling him, because I think if I wouldn't have told him... There's a secret passage just here. Maybe it's that would, would change things. I'm not sure how that 100% works. But I really don't want a bad ending. Not for our good playthrough. <clears throat> like that situation How did you find this place my friend ominous gaunt he named it the undercroft we used to play gobstones here all the time with my sister Anne. she loved that infernal game what i wouldn't give to lose to her again like I this, tell the situation you, that just I happened ominous i would safeguard this place so please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Revelio. So as far as the situation, like, if anyone comes in here and says, you know, I just can't get bring myself to play this game and I don't understand why others want to play it, then this whole thing would have went out completely different. So I just want to make a note of that, is when someone comes into the channel, you can say your piece, but don't accuse other people and, and say that other people are this because they have chosen to play something, right? That's when you're going to get a different strain. So if you come in here and you give your opinion and, and we talk about it and say, well, you know, you, you agree that and I'll agree this and, you know, I, uh, I understand where you're coming from, and that's fine. She wouldn't have been banned, but she wanted to go a little darker and a little deeper, and Strain ain't got time for that. Right? He wants everyone on here to to uh, work together to be better for each other. Alright? That's how I feel on that situation. I want us to be able to agree to disagree sometimes. That's okay to agree to disagree, but when you're going to come in here and, and, and start you know, name calling and doing all that other stuff. We just, we ain't got time for that. I mean, different strokes for different folks though, I guess. But that's just me. I'm a people pleaser and I want everyone to be happy. I'll never change. Ever. I know Ominous. Met him in our Thank you, room. Joss. I've noticed when he uses his Levio to the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It's an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It exactly. Take a while to get the feel for Perfect it. example. I love Jeepers Creepers. 
Especially the uh, one and number two. Very well. But let me tell you, the guy behind the movies, the director, horrible person, doesn't deserve anything, no respect, no nothing. Horrible person. Horrible, horrible person. But man, those movies, they're so good. Some of the best horror movies out there. So I totally get, you know, and that's that's what I'm trying to convey. And I definitely recommend those of you to go out and watch Jeepers Creepers. Especially the early ones. Three was okay. I didn't mind three. But one and two was where it's at. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. All right, I believe have this is... Those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. See, that's good to know. See, this is not one of the uh, unforgivable curses, so I might not get use these at all. I don't know if it's going to change things. I'm sure it's going to change the ending if I use these. All right, where are we going to set it? We have to set it at number three, because we only use the room of requirement ones there, and so that's the only one we have three spells on, right? Everything else we just have. We only have one in the yellow, we have two in the purple, and we have three in the red, and those those are not considered like spells you use in combat or anything like that. So I suppose I'll keep it over here for now, but I might change that. Alright, so what am I doing? Oh, right there? Okay. I change it to that one. Confringo! Nice work! How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So the this taller, day, thank you so much. There's something about that spell that's addictive. Thank you so much for the um, donation. I appreciate it. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Anne Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Ooh, love interest? Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Ooh, do you think this is going to change anything? What do you guys think? Do you think that this is going to change how the game gives me an ending? If I just keep telling everyone about what we're trying to uncover that I'm going to lose Fig's trust and that's a tough thing like what do you think do you think this could change the ending telling him the complete honest truth or should I just you know I'm not ready to tell you everything like I want to tell him he's he's a uh, he's been really nice to me and he seems like he's a decent guy you know he loves his sister um, 
He likes learning a few bad courses, a few bad spells and things like that. And clearly some, sometime in the future he's going to teach us the unforgivable curses, but... Um... I don't know. Yeah, you're only you're only telling Sebastian. That's true. Might lower your trust with him. Don't say it all, but that's exactly. Can we really truly trust anyone? How do we know? We don't really know. I'm gonna say I'm not ready to tell you. The book anything. I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you. A bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. All right, well, when thank you so much, Feldcroft, Terry. I'll send you an owl. Yes, I'll, I will try to ignore the haters. And, you know, um, it's just, like I said, I, I try to please everyone and be here for everyone that I can. That's what makes it tough. And thank you so much, Taco, Taco, for the... For the uh, for the don't for the super chat, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, um, Taco Taco. It's good seeing you in here again, my friend. And uh, also thanks to Green. He's always been um, uh, he's always been a, a good supporter of the channel and and always gives me good keen advice. So, all right. Um, leave the Undercroft. I didn't tell him. I, I don't know. I'm just. If you don't follow heart, it'll leave you, and you'll be heartless. <laughs> yeah, you need to you need to follow your heart. You know, don't let it get uh, don't let it get too far away. Oh, you got a Harry Hello, Potter half sleeve. Awesome. Wait, you there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Oh, jeez. Here we go. I'm, I'm, don't, he said, don't tell anybody, so. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. I was doing it like I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Uh, I didn't say him, though. Oh, so we just can't go in there all the time? Well, that sucks. I'd love to be able to go back in there and see them yelling at each other. All right, what's next? All right, so acquire and use an invisibility potion. We already have that. Acquire and use a thunderbrew potion against enemies. So we don't even have any... All right, so we need to do, this is the next one that we need to do. Um, Defendo. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I wanted to call it Dilfendo. <laughs> I'd consider myself a Dilfendo, you know, just saying. Um, okay, so we do, do we have any invisible potions on us right now? We don't, so we need to, we already acquired it, but don't Come forget to read your mail. As soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. All right, so what we need to do... I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. 
Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Wait, wait a second. I'm very confused. I thought we already earned, learned Levioso. Isn't that the same thing? Or I'm really confused. If you go into your spells, this says Levioso. I guess Levioso is just holding them up in the air. Wingardium Leviosa is different somehow? I mean, I've, I love the Harry Potter movies and stuff, but for whatever reason, I never noticed there's an actual difference between Levioso and Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm. I learn something every day. All right. We need an invisible potion, which I should be able to craft in my room of requirement. We are probably going to need a Thunderbrew potion because I don't think I have a Thunderbrew. So we have to get it from Potions Guy. All right, so that's where we need to head. It is different. Thank you for letting me know. I honestly did not know that. I thought the game and the movie, or not the game, but the movie and the books just did it differently. So I did not actually know that. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yeah, I do find it interesting that he is blind as well. Because we have, we, we've never seen any blind people, you know, and, and he's able to get around. Like, with magic skills, like how good can you get around, you know, being blind? That's a very interesting concept. We have everything a young student might need when it comes kinda to like, potions. Kind of like have Daredevil. We, we don't need the, we, we don't need this, right? Like, we don't need to purchase this, correct? Because we've already... Do we... See, that's what I'm... I don't understand. Do I need to purchase this? Even though it's already unlocked in my thing? I'm guessing no. A wise decision. Thank you. All right, we have a bunch of things that we can get rid of here. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. 41, make sure we put on those gloves, all right? Oh, we get an extra thing. Decreased damage taken from goblins. So that one actually has a unique ability assigned to it. How do you upgrade it? That's what I want to know. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Wawang. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. All right. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and equip the new glove. Awesome. We'll sell that later. I mean, it's only two points, but it's something. Uh, what else? Do we have headgear? That's right, we need to find out what it is. And that's it. Okay, so let's bring up our map. Going to back to here. How do I get rid of this purple one? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I can't figure out how to actually get rid of the purple one. There we go. That's how you have to do it. Okay. Soon when you unlock the upgrades. Okay, thanks, bud. Alright, I should have a potion on here. Alright, so, yes, I can already do... Invisible. See, I can't. I have to purchase it. So you have to purchase it. Okay. Um, where is... Oh, I need... Missing ingredients. So we need shrivel fig fruit and stench of the dead. Shrivel fig fruit, stench of the dead. So we got to go back to. This is how you learn these things, you know? Back to Hogsmeade. Oh, 
Hogsmeade, here I come. Thank God that they actually put this um, fast travel system oh, in. In the market for potions, are we? It is not crap, Smith. Uh, it's actually really, really fun. All right. Oh, wise decision. Thank you. Thanks. Double tongue. Here we go. Stench of the dead. Leech, sleeping toadstool, trolls. I mean, I don't see it. Uh oh. Hold on. What was it called? What did it I say I needed? See you again. Farewell for now. Where where would it show? Oh no. Do I have to go? What was the other one? The shrivel fig? Do I have any shrivel fig? No, I don't think I have Shrivel Fig, right? Did he have Shrivel Fig? I'm... What can I do for you today? I don't remember seeing any Shrivel Fig. No, he's got none. Oh, but I could get my own Thank for you a again thousand. For delivering those potions to Madame uh, Save me a lot of time and But he doesn't have Shrivel Fig. Where can I get Shrivel Fig from? That's the only thing I wish that it would it would showcase, it would tell you, like, you know how like in the Assassin's Creed games, right? When you need a certain ingredient, it shows where they are in the map. Maybe the plant guy does? Well, you would think everything from the po he'd, he'd have everything, right? Isn't that something you would think? Because I don't know where else I can get Shrivel. I mean, I can just get one, but that's going to be a thousand. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, uh, Mandrake. Oh, that's right. We can do this. Leech. Shrivel, shrivel fig fruit. I don't know where I can get shrivel fig fruit. That's the only problem. And if you go to the map, I don't think there's anything in the maps that show you where you could pick up that particularly so i don't know what i'm going to do here i mean maybe it just wants you to go around and search you can zoom in all you want here but as you can see there's not really anything that allows you to hmm That does kind of suck. I wish that there was a, a way to... Make that a little easier. I don't want to spend the thousand dollars to do it, just to do the quest. But it looks like I'm just going to go ahead and do it, because I'm, I'm not going to waste all of your time. We also have this one. Acquire and use a venomous tentacle. Tentacula. We already have that. Why and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously? That's how we can get Wingardium Leviosa. So we can do this. We can just find a battle, and then we can do both of these. Because we already got the venomous thing here. So I think I'm gonna... You get it by magic neep. What? What is magic neep? <laughs> I have no idea what that even means. Is that a person? 
maybe there's another where's another potions there's got to be another potion guy I can't remember um is there one down in this no 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 I remember there's a potion person right in uh no it wasn't there should have been here right I think it's here yeah she's a she's a I'm gonna go here Wonder who lives here. She's a potion person. For delivering those potions. Hopefully, Pippin's quality. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Yes. She doesn't have any. Dang. Definitely not her. I don't know why you're saying Neep has it. The fruit seller is in the town. Okay, Jess, I think I get I get what you're saying Thank now. You it's not in. a potion, I it's a fruit. It. Therefore, that is why it's not gonna be where the potion person is. It's gonna be different. So hogweeps there, and where is She misses something about a swarm of butterflies. So there's another side mission that we can do. I think it's... Should be right there, right? Yeah. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, it's the fruit seller! So then, wouldn't he be over here? Hold on. Yeah. This was it this guy? Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. No. Yep, there it is. Shrivel frig fruit. Yes. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Remember, I need to look at this guy a little bit more when I come back. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. All right, so now we can actually do it. Um. See, we have enough. Maxima and invis. We need okay, so we need an invisibility potion. Uh, we need troll bogeys. What the heck are troll bogeys? I think I just saw some... Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Was that troll bogeys? No. Where can I get troll bogeys? What the heck are troll bogeys? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Alright, let's go in our... I have no idea what the heck troll bogeys are. Troll boogers? <laughs> where where do you get troll boogers from? I wish it told you where you can get those things at. You can only get them from fighting trolls? Well, I mean, that means you're telling me I have to fight a troll in order to be able to get an invisibility potion unless I buy one? No, I was not a Delta or a SEAL. <laughs> Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. There we go. 
Boom. A wise decision. Thank All right. you. I hope to see you again. Okay, so we have what we need to do an invisible potion. We have what we need to do the thunder brew. And then what was the other one? Because we'll make sure we get them both at the same time. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire and use the mandrake on multiple the mandrake on multiple enemies. Okay, so I think We need to unlock by acquiring mandrake seeds at dog weed and death cap. Okay, I'll have to find out where that is. Um, Chinese chomping. There's the tentacula, and we already have four of them, so we're good there. But this is what I need. Unlocked by acquiring mandrake seeds at dog weed. All right, we gotta find dogweed. Lower Hogsfield. Urker. Keenbridge. What is dogsweed and death cap? I'm so confused. Upper Hogsfield. Is, is that a location or place or am I thinking something different? Hazarding wizard wear. J potions. Niches. Tomes and scrolls. I don't. Uh... <laughs> I'm just trying to find dogweed. I don't know where. Where it's. Why do they got to make this so confusing? Where is. What the hell is dogweed? <laughs> it's a store. Um. Where? I've never heard of a store called Dogwig and Death Cap. Thank you. Jaish. Oh, thank, thank the Lord. All right. <laughs> I'm so sorry for wasting everybody's time there. Trying to figure it all out. I'm just not used to the name, so now that I know what what it is, it's just such a weird name, right? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I'm pretty sure it gets much cozier other places. Revelio. yourself though let's have you leave here alive you're a force to be reckoned with aren't you scaring all the goblins away the dogweed and death cap tree this large tree with winding branches supports the shop dogweed and death cap Shall we burn gear and a thrash into a troll? Oh, I can't believe Lumos. it! Okay, so there's a pipe sticking out of the ground, or there's like a, a, a chimney out of the ground. Let's go find this chimney. Chimney. If I was... a little thing sticking out of something, where would I be? Crap, no. Akio. Oh, it's too far away. There we go. Okay. Let's 
Just gotta search around for it. It's gonna be around here somewhere. Yes, I'm trying to look for steam kind of rising up. That's just out in the, the, the forest area. No, it's always gonna be it's always gonna be close. Meet, here I come. I don't think it's going to be over there because it's facing the town. Might have to look at the thing again so I can get a better idea of what's the 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 buildings that are directly in front of it. I know I'm looking for it. the chim the chimney is just literally like just in the grass. And it's not going to be far from this position, Nick. Well, let me look again, one more time. Come on inside. Oh, watch your Lumos. Okay, so... Alright, let me look, let me look, let me look. Um... The building that's in front of it is these two... Little pipes on the top thing, another two pipes that you can see, another building with a chimney on it. That could be a building. All right. There's, okay, there, see, right there. So we know it's like right here. Oh my God, I found it. I already know what it is. Akio. Gotta look strange, just gotta look. Lumos. Come on, buddy. See, when you actually pay attention, you can find things so much easier. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. All right. Revelio. What else is in here? Ma'am, you don't mind if I steal from you, do you? Thank you. I appreciate it. You're so kind. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up.
Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Uh... Well, we have the ability to do it now. So, first of all, let me look. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Cool. Mandrake seeds. So we need seeds in order to get the mandrake. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Yeah, and we did. We got the Mandrake Seeds, so we should be good. Um, Alright, I think, I think we're good. Doors always open. You be sure. I feel like we're good. Acquire and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies. Okay. Acquire and use a Venomous... Tentacula. We already have that. Okay, so we should have everything. Now we just need to go to our potion area. Where we brew our stuff and things. At Hogwarts. Now that's potions. Take things. You should be proud of your food. All right. I get that that's there. Can I do anything else besides that? I might need to get a table, another table because I can only It just automatically did the didn't so I think what I need to do is actually do a little conjuration. Uh, potions used to grow plants. I think I need another one of these. I think we need medium pots. I think having small is not really going to help. Okay, let's back out. All right, small. Here we go. Uh, we need a mandrake. It's gonna take ten minutes. That's why it's a small one. We need something that's bigger than a small. We'll have to do that. Otherwise, that's gonna take ten minutes. But. At least we've got it going. Um, how am I doing? So I've got that. I'm about ready to have the Mandrake in 10 minutes. I need to do Thunder Brew. Alright. Let's see here. It only takes 15 seconds to do that. Yes. Maxima. We need invisibility, takes a minute. Thunderbrew takes a minute and 30. Okay. You can only do one at a time on a small. So we will need to, to, to get the larger 
things that you can get from Hogsmeade. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Eight minutes and 53 seconds. Oh, we can turn and we've got a uh, gear that's not identified. Crimson top hat, nice. Wait. And decreases damage taken from trolls. Stick with nothing. Okay, and we have face wear. Is it better? Oh, it's locked, so we need level 20 for that. And it's not even as good as what we have right now. Jeez. Alright, so we're just kind of doing the waiting game right now, guys. So let's see how much time we have. That one's almost done. Eight minutes. Let's stay here and we'll go ahead and do this one in 28 seconds. The Thunder Brew. Then we can do the um, invisibility. Yeah, sorry. The, uh, the bot. I mean, that's... I don't even know how to change it. I'm not really smart with that kind of stuff because I never really do dove into it. But yes, there's the bot, and anytime anybody does big caps, it just automatically times them out for like three seconds. And I really honestly don't know how to change it. I probably should look at that. Okay, so there we go. Now we need invisibility. We're not spraying, we can only do one. That'll take one minute. All right, um... Once this one's done, we will go out, let's search a little bit more of the castle, because we still got about seven, six minutes. We'll do a little bit more searching of the castle to, uh, to give ourselves time to do the things. Then we'll go out to the Forbidden Forest, and we'll get into a fight where we can use all the things we need so we can do and learn the new, po uh, new, learn the new uh, spells. Then we can continue with our game. But, uh, yes, the first thing I need to do also at some point today is to get a bigger... More than... We need more than just a small... That way we can do multiple ones. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. I think we have enough leaping toadstool caps, that's for sure. All right. So, the amount of time is left is 6 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let's unlock more of this area. So there's still places that we have not unlocked. See, uh, we've unlocked everyone there. We have not locked everyone here. We need to figure a way to get up. I don't know if we can get up or not. Hospital wing of Hogwarts Castle. So I'm going to set a wave point. And we'll do it from here. Oh, there's also a, a, a secret puzzle here. But I don't know how to get... We gotta figure out how to get up there first. So let's follow what this says. This next composition took some practice. Hey, I don't even know if I've been...
Well, how do we go up even further? I'm so confused. Telling me to go down. What? Now you're telling me to go down. Did I did I go to the wrong area? I must have. Pay particular attention to the strings of this next piece. Oh, Akio. Levioso. Hold on, where is it at? Uh Repulsa. Aha, Repulsa will get me in. Violet, if you could hear before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. Ooh, got another one of these. I get sidetracked so easily. Lumos. Okay, look at the door. Look at the door. Okay. Now here it is. Where is it at? We're literally right in front of the door. Right here. My guess is if I move this... It's gonna do it. Repulsa. Levioso. Not Levioso, so it's gotta be this one. Accio. Not Accio. Um, anybody else got an idea? Oh, it's inside this room. Okay, well that makes it much much easier. Lumos. Oh my god, it's there we go. Okay. I was like, how am I getting back in? Hey, Seymour. Long time watcher on your channel. I just want to say thank you so much for your videos. I mean, so much how I enjoy stealth games. Well, thank you so much, bud. I appreciate it. Yes. And once, once, uh, once we get into later in the game, we're going to be using a lot of stealth in this game. So just take a note of that. Okay, we still need to find our way. Now it's telling us to go back up this way. Do you see what I'm saying? A moment of your silence and attention. Now it's telling me to go down. I don't think we have the means to get here yet. See, now it's telling me to go back this way. <laughs> it keeps changing it on me. I don't think we can get here yet. Take a moment to allow our you see how it keeps changing? Like it doesn't know what it wants to do. What the f what just happened? Oh my gosh, that just scared the crap out of me. Revelio. What? Oh my gosh, that just... That was a little uncomfortable. Oh, here's Gryffindor. No Revelio. 
This portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from anyone who wishes to enter. She and her friend, Violet, are known to wander around among the other portraits, but they are directly helping themselves to vats and wines therein. All right, but... Many of your parents were Gryffindors. Oh, the stories I could tell you. But we can't go up. There's no more going up. That sucks. There's, like, gotta be another set of stairwells somewhere. How do you get over there? Revelio. Huh. How are you supposed to get over there? There's a thing there. But how do you get over there? That's the question. Set of stairs over there. Maybe you can do it from somehow over here. See, we haven't unlock unlocked the ability to unlock the doors yet. So once we do, once we unlock the doors, then we'll know. Okay. I think it's been about eight minutes, so... Thank you, Seymour. Welcome to Solid Snake, my friend. I appreciate it, bud. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're good there. Take things. You should be proud. And drink. Okay, so now we've got a mandrake. We've got the invisible invisibility potion. We've got the thunder brew. And we've got that. And that should be all that is required. So, this is what we need to do. If we go to quests, you can see, so we've got the invis- So we need to acquire and use an invisibility potion. All we have to do is use it. So that one we can get rid of now. Uh, acquire and use a venomous tentacula. So we can use that one right now as well. Acquire and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies. That one we have to actually go out and seek a battle to do. So the Mandrake is with a battle. And the Thunderbrew potion is in the battle. So Mandrake and Thunderbrew. Everything else I should be able to just go and do. I can do Invisibility and I can do Venomous Intica. It just says use it. Doesn't say it has to be in a particular... in a fight. So I'm going to go ahead and just use it. Okay. Now, the reason I'm using it and not putting it in a fight is because I'm afraid that if I use it in the fight, then it might not take anyone out because I have taken them out already. I don't want to risk that thing. So now I just need to do um, invisibility. There we go. Only lasts for a few seconds, I realize that. Um, I don't even know why I need that potion, because you got the, the thing where you can just make yourself invisible, period. So now I just need to use a Thunder Brew and a Mandrake in a battle. Hello, Totally. How you doing, bud? Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to the world map, and then we're going to go to the Forbidden Force. The reason I'm going to the Forbidden Force is because I know that there are... Um, right at the entrance of the Forbidden Force. Yep. I know that there's enemies out here, so I can easily do this. On another adventure, are we? No worries, Seymour. Thank you for uh, stopping by, my friend. All right, so let me go ahead and get out a Thunder Brew. All right, so the Thunder Brew lasts three seconds. And I need to do that and the Mandrakes. So let me just find some enemies. I need I need a bunch of enemies, I'm thinking. Not just ones, but just one enemy. That's got to be at least two or three. So I need to get near them. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. Yes. My, my ears. 
Afraid to take a hit, are you? Potato! Avoid the What have you done? Right. No. I should be good. Let's see. Both of them should be unlocked. If I did it right. Return? Yes! So we can get Wingardium Leviosa, and we can get... So Professor Sharp and Herbology. We'll just keep it... We'll keep it on that one, and then we'll do the other one. Interesting, do I not have any unlocked there? None of them are actually showing up, it won't let us- Maybe because we're in a fight right now and it won't let us. Gotta get out of this. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this out. And that's all I wanted to do. Why don't we have a little fun and get there this way? Made it. Do you age in this? No. You're you're only doing essentially just one year. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent hey, combination. Um, okay, uh, Jin, can you bring me up something to drink, please, waste. before you leave? That Thank would be great. You, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the oh, ready. Oh, I can still... I can still use a drink. Focus. <laughs> Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Ooh, another red. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. All right. Yeah, we're going to need a fourth one. There are five red spells, man. I'm trying to keep every spell, like I said. Let's let's exchange it for this one. Where is the Defendo? Or that one right there, right? Your sake and that of everyone else. Defendo. It's 
a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Notice how this one takes a little bit longer to come back. Okay, thank you, Babel. As I mentioned earlier, Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. All right, next up, we need to... Where is the other one? Because none of them are actually showing up, so we're going to have to go to the quest. Um, the map chamber is unlocked. Uh, let's see, Ghost of Our Love, right here. Herbology. Handy resource indeed. Oh, did I not do this one? Rebellion. Really? Thank you, my love. Yeah, so, so you're going to go to your mom's? Okay. All right, baby. Oh, hey, uh, well then, right before you leave, can you bring... Okay. Thank you, honey. Central Hall Fountain. These, this ornate fountain features in, in intricately carved statues of... I thought I got this one. The Magical World, including a set stone of those. I, for whatever reason, I thought I got that already. Ooh, what's this? I think this is a locked room we can't get into. Yeah. We'll, we'll get that eventually. I do know that that will start to unlock here. I wish they were more than just montages, man. I actually want a little bit more. How wonderful to see you again. My top five snacks? Skittles would be number one. Um, Reese Cup. Reese Pieces. Um... Starbursts. Uh, what's what would be the last one? Um, airheads. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. They're my favorite snacks, but I haven't had and any of them in over a year because you be of my diseases, so they're, they're still my favorite. <laughs> But if I'm talking candy, if you're talking snacks, then pizza rolls would be number one. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. The levitation charm can levitate and move objects, control its position with your movement, and use... Up, down, left, right to fine tune it. So this is this means I don't really. Well done. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crate. So there's no actually no reason for me to use Levioso. That just keeps them there. So there's really no reason in having that one there anymore. Wait a second, where is it? Oh, it's not a part of the yellow then. Where is it? Where? I'm confused. In the next room. Okay. I'm really confused right now. Where is Wingardium Levioso? 
for Leviosa. That's just Levioso. Is that the same thing? Levioso. No. Where is it? I'm so it's I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I, I must have not understood something. It gets, must be there. Okay, there it is. It's it's in those. Oh, it has to be another one of those, though, doesn't it? Let's put it instead of that one. Just for now. We got him, She just said, I'm a natural, but where'd she go? She disappeared. Oh, she blend in with the environment. Okay. Um, I think I need to grab another... I, I need to get them all. I think that's the biggest thing for talent-wise you're going to want to do. I've got three talent points. I might as well go ahead and do it. We need to get the third... Um... This one right here. We gotta have it. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to have all of these things. I still got two left. I don't know what I wanna do. Okay, that does a multiple targets. I like that one. I'm going to get that one. That's good for now. I want to use that one a little bit more. Okay, we did get some gear. Is it any good? Ha. No broom upgrades yet. When do we get our flying mounts? We've gotta keep progressing through the story a little bit more. Alright, let's go and do our main mission now. This mission, you're supposed to be level 10. We're literally 10 steps above that level. Okay. We have some things to unlock here. Legendary armor attire. No guides, nothing else. Okay. All right, where's the legendary armor? There it is. Nice, I like that. And with the cloak? Yeah! At this point, I think it's time to stop wearing that. Which one would I want, though? Hmm. I'm gonna go with that one. We're probably going to spend one stream 
just doing nothing but collecting everything in the house. But we're not even at chapter two yet, so... We've been playing this for like almost 16 hours and we're still in chapter one because we've collected so many things and we're already level 20 and we haven't even... It's what makes this hilarious. Hold on, my wife just sent me a message. That is completely ruined. You want ramen cup instead? Um, if you can hear me, yes, babe. Um, all right. All right, guys. See, this is what happened. When I hear that noise, I think there's something I can do. Revelio. Why does that noise come up? Huh. I always think there's something I can do when I hear that noise. Get away from me. <laughs> that scared me. I was hoping to see you. Sorry, Professor. I'm not into guys. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you we were do. away. We do. Jen and I both have I wands, I believe. From Professor I think Black's we got them when we went Scrope. to the Scrope Harry Potter messages? world. Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Okay, so before the room I... called the map chamber, by the way. Before I do this, I need to make sure I am totally set up for success. All right, so my top one is going to be the ones... Actually... I need to change that. I think left and right should be the ones that I use the most. So I'm going to go. These are the ones that I know that I'm going to use the most. So first off, we're going to have Defendo because we've upgraded it. And that's always going to be in that spot. Red's always going to be on the circle side. Purple is always going to be on the left side. Then we've got Topolso. That throws them away. And that brings them closer. I'm going to stick with that one on my main one to bring them closer to me so that I can continue to juggle them. Same thing with this right here. Needle Poppy? You want someone to throw your bounds? Bounds, Tindo. Go get your bounds. Alright. Um, so that means my bottom one isn't going to be one... Well, I think I wanted it to be one of these, but I don't really use these in combat, so I need a total combat build that I can focus on these four all the time, right? And then when I need to switch it up, I can switch it up. Um, so we're not going to use these four. I'm going to add another one that we can use. Uh, why don't we do... Why don't we do Expelliarmus to take away their wands? So we'll have two reds. So red, there we go. Now, second one I'll use is when I go to the right. Alright? This one, you know, we'll, we'll keep a yellow, the yellow up there, but this time we'll have 
to Pulso. And instead of a Spelliarmus, we're going to have that one. And then we'll use Incendio. So, when I go down, or excuse me, when I go up, this one will be all four of these. Here we go. There we go. And no need for this one just as of yet, because I've got all the ones that I need elsewhere as of right now. But once we learn these other ones, we'll have them up there. So this one will be that, that, that. I can keep that like that. So main one is on the left. Then when we go up, we have what we need to use to do puzzles. When we go right, we have our secondary one, so we can easily switch back and forth. Just a few of them change. Um, so just left and right. That way when I'm in combat, I always know left and right is going to be exactly what I need. So I like this. The left and right are my main ones. Okay. Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. Rockstar? That's a nice I pet name. I to meeting him. How did this jackdaw get Revelio. pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. All right, here we go. To think it was beneath us all this time. Yo, know, next pet's either going to be Super Nintendo or PlayStation. And we can call him Station. <laughs> but it'll be a female. We're only going to get female pets from now on. Xbox as well, yes. That's another choice. This looks promising. to see this. Yes, that was. Bill and Ted's one of my favorite movies. One of Jennifer and I's favorite movies. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. 
Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Oh yeah, Transformer reference. Sweet. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Immediately goes and tells Sebastian. Little Sebastian! How would you like to learn the knockback jinx, Flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. I wonder, can we actually follow him the whole way? Learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. All right, so let's take a look at these things here. We got two new spells to learn. All right, so pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. Zero out of five. Pop balloons around the Quidditch pitch. Zero out of five. Let's do hers first. Grow and harvest flux weed. Fire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. We've already got all three. And we can do so. Those those are pretty easy. But let's do this one first.
Well, thank you so much, Big Quiz. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I just love playing video games and showing them off. I mean, you know, not everyone's like me. Some people like to rush, especially you see a lot of creators will rush to get the games out there as quickly as possible because that's how they make the most money. Now, it's hard to to do... It, it, it's, it's hard for me to do that because of my ADHD, but it's also... Um, it's hard to compete against that. That's why my channel, that's one of the reasons, obviously there's plenty of reasons why my channel doesn't grow as much as others, but one of the reasons is because I, it takes longer for me to do walkthroughs, you know, I don't, I don't rush and, and when you can get a game out super, super quick, then, I mean, you're going to gain followers super, super fast because they know you're the person to come to, uh, quickly. And I just, I'll never be that type of person, so I'm okay with not getting a million subscribers, and as long as the fan base that I have and the community that we have treat each other with respect, and that you guys do keep coming back and you support every now and then when you can, you know, so that we can pay the bills and keep the channel going, then I will continue to do whatever I can to make this as fun as possible. And hopefully we'll be able to continue to do that, you know? All right, we're going to Hogsmeade Station. If you stay close to the ground, you'll actually, like, okay, notice how we're up high. You see how quickly my meter is going down when I s speed? But watch when I go down. When I get this low to the ground. Watch now. Infinite. So you're always going to be much, much, much faster the lower you are to the ground. And the moment you get up, is when it starts lifting. I mean, how could, could I... Be a Merlin trial? Oh, I don't have enough now! I gotta remember it, I need to get more. Alright, remember that to pick up... This is not as easy to, to maneuver around, and I wish it was a little bit easier. I wish it was all done with the left stick and the camera was all with the right. But it is a little unfortunate. Alright, where's... Okay, I'm a bit confused. There needs to be two more. And there's one right above my head. <laughs> That's so stupid. Alright. Okay, one more. I'm sure if I get high, it'll probably let me know. See? You go down, so I can't look down. You see what I'm saying? That's like really bad. They need- I wish they'd fix that. So if I wanted to look down right now, I'd have to go down. I can't just freely look down. I wish they wouldn't have done that. I wish they gave you full free camera control. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make sense. Alright, let's- we're still trying to find... ...the next balloon. Which I have not seen yet. Might be on the outside here. There it is! Hiding! Right on the outside. Brilliant. All right. Let's go over to Hogsmeade now. 
There could be music playing throughout this. It feels kind of barren when there's no music or anything like that. No, there's no balance on the broom. You don't need to balance yourself in any way, shape, or form. So I found out what these are for. When you see these claws. It doesn't mean that you, you have like an enemy that you face. Eventually you're going to be able to poach animals and put them in your room of requirement. And essentially what that is, is you're going to get like, I guess, a bag or of some sorts to do that with. And that's what essentially that means. All right, so we're heading to Hogsmeade, if I can remember where it is. I don't even... Where is... Okay, Hogsmeade has to be right there. You do get to hear all the sound effects, yes, all the swooshing. But music really, really adds a lot to the game. But there's just some times where there's no music playing. It's a little weird. It feels empty. Sometimes it seems all... All right. Need the hogs meat. So as far as the plants, as you can see, we need one more mandrake. So I'm going to have to go to my, back to my room to do a Mandrake potion again. And then we need to use all three of these at the same time. Now we need Fluxweed. Grow and harvest Fluxweed. Not part of the, any of those potions, so I'm trying to figure out where I can get Fluxweed. Um... Ourselves a wizard kind's best friend. I could use some gold. How oh, wonderful! Thank you. I'm a nice guy. Revelio. On in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Okay, so those are just the potions. Where can I get Fluxweed? I have no idea, actually. I can just go ahead and sell. Okay, we want to apply that. Where would you get Fluxweed? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Is it a Herbology one? <laughs> You're totally capping, bro. <laughs> Where can I get Fluxweed? I don't... Uh, let's go over to that Herbology lady. Or the... Um, deathbed and double bonks. Donk crazy bonkers thingy. Whatever that place is called. 
Death bonking the noggin ronking. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hope you're not here for a knot grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Not them, hmm. I need to get pots. Where do I get the pots from? Doors it's not here. Open. You be sure to stop by soon. Hmm. Guys, I can't remember where to get it from. Uh, let me look at my map. Beast byproducts. I don't know if that's it. There, the magic, that's it. Yeah, now I get it. Because it has that, you look at the, look at the emblem, and that, that's how it tells you where you can purchase it. Gotcha. Revelio. Also, I don't know if you guys knew, but you can do Revelio on your broom. Where'd he go? There it is. Accio. Oh, come here. Did I scare him away? There we go. Greetings. Please take your time looking about. Fluxweed. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Okay. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. I might as well now, get it you all. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Revelio. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Keep. Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engages with customers outside the shop. Alright, so, acquire all three combats and use simultaneously. Okay, who is it that I need to see to get a bigger, larger, um, plot? It's the broom man. Ollivanders. Three broomsticks. Zonks. I don't think it's Zonks. No, it's not Zonks.
One of them, I can't remember the name. It's not Jay Pippin's potions. Welcome. Do you let me know if I'm pretty sure it's again not for delivering those potions to Madame Lau. Mm. Yeah, Save see. Me a lot of time and trouble. <sighs> Dang it, I cannot remember I the name. I hope to see you again. I think it's the tailor. Where is the tailor? I can't even remember where he is. I don't even see him on here. Where is the the big the big tailor guy? Um Wizard Man. Let me try there. Revelio. Butterbeer. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink Butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact the elves <laughs> more than humans. I tell you what, it is, just, it is delicious. In case you guys didn't know. Oh, hello. I think you're going to come in handy. Got to be invisible, remember? Hogs meat, here I come. Revelio. Oh, it still shows up even though we used it. Oh my gosh. Why are you gonna be rude like that, dude? That's so mean. It shouldn't show up like that if you've already used it. Had me all confused, like. Uh, I'm pretty in. sure this is the Let guy. Let me know if you need help finding. He's not the guy. Where is it? I swear I saw it, guys. Where was it? There is a guy here in Hogsmeade that sells the tables, the but I cannot sure remember which about. person it is, and it's going to drive me freaking crazy. Revelio. I don't think we have a little more yet. Are they gonna let me use this until these guys- there we go. These cats seem to stay close to the quill shop. Perhaps it's the feathers that they like, the owner leaves with them. What do I need? So, I need to get a larger... Um, a larger pot for brewing Revenue. potions and stuff. Seeds merchant? Which one's the seeds merchant? I don't know why this is so hard for me to... No, it wasn't him.
The guy with the bowler hat. There's a bookshop. I have no idea where it is, man. I just really don't. I just... I wish they did a better job at doing this. Because it is very frustrating. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Not knowing which one it actually is. They, they could have done a better job at doing that, in my opinion. No, it wasn't him, that's right. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come... When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. I'll check tombs and scrolls. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness. Everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Rebellion. Nothing here? Really? I must have already got everything that was in here. I was wondering when I'd see you again. This is him. It is him. Let's I wish they had a better have, description of it. All right, beast. Here we go. Man, that's wow. Too large. Too large, a thousand. I feel like the, the large pot's going to be the best, but that one has two, so... I can do two at the same time, but I already got a small, so I can do... Well, yeah, but that's a... Um, three mediums? Jeez. Remember, I guess the size matters how long it takes to make them.
Let's just try... I'm gonna get the two with the two large. I'm gonna do it. I know it's 3,000. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Now that's just the potion. Hold on. Let's look at what we have, shall we? That's potting. I need the potion. Impressions. All right, so it's one of these here. Unlocks the ability to do a conjuring E shaped. Let's get a medium potion. Nothing All right. like finding just the right thing. We've spent there? enough. Okay, now we'll do this mission, then we'll head back, and then we'll do the things that we need to do, and then. We'll be able to do the, the other things. Hogsmeade. Now watch. If you use Revelio, see? It shows literally where everything is close to you. Making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willards, he might get an answer about these butterflies. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate it, buddy. Big shout out to Mike for the donation. Meet, here I come. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? I'm not sure about the PC requirements, because I don't have the PC edition. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. 
For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Okay. Later, Mike. Have a good one, bud. I thought I had it on there. Sorry. There you go. Alright. Okay. Where is it? I just bought. Okay, now I'm really. They're not showing up. I literally just bought a, a large and it's not showing up. Okay, there it is. All right. Woo! I'm starting to get a little upset there for a second. Sweet man, Drake. Oh, it's still ten minutes. What was the point of getting the large if it doesn't really actually make it faster? I thought it made it faster, and I was wrong. Luxo weed. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions. Dang. It's going to take quite a long time. Okay. All right, grow and harvest flux weed. And I can go ahead and do that one. Let me go ahead and I got the mandrape working up right now as well. Ocean wise ability. Really need anything right now. 
No. Thank you. All right. Uh, empty pot, didn't me. Mellow sweet, mandrake. There you go. Yield five. Does it give you a different yield? Is that what it is? Let me see. Yield is one. Yield is five. All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, flying mission. Why is it not showing me... Oh, there it is. See, the game makes you think a lot. with those tasks. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Oh, uh, Consentite. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office. This is a slowdown spell. And it's a yellow, so now I can equip it to this one, because I already have that one on there. I think the slowdown... Actually, I want it on... I want the one that brings you closer to have... Hmm... Put it on this one. We're taking it out into the world. There you go. Now it slows everything down. Thank you, baby. Oh, thank you. All right, love you too. Just keep me updated on text. Have a good time. <laughs> what the heck was that? Nice. All right, we did it. It'd be funny if I can actually use them against the students, but I don't think you can. See? It, it'll do everything else, see? How long does it last? A little bit. Revelio. Okay, what else? Particulus Totalis is not a freezing spell. It is a... keeps you still, but it's not the Glacius spell, unfortunately. I don't know where you... I don't know when we're going to learn the uh, that one. But once we do learn that one, that's when stealth is going to really start to come in handy for us. Use them all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Okay, we can go ahead and do this without fighting. Um, gotta go to the map.
Where do I... Drink, I got that. Alright. But where do I get more of these? I forgot. Medium or large pots. I need a medium or large pot. Which is technically right here, so... That's still got 11 minutes, and that's still got... 5 minutes, okay? Um... Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Alright. Again, I know you, you technically you want to do those when you're in combat and stuff, but it's so much quicker if we just you must try it. do it like that. Honestly, the way some of them Like I said, much quicker to just fast travel, but then you lose all the beautifulness of everything. Finish the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do all right. Lependo is purple. Flips objects and enemies backwards. Excellent for setting up in extending juggles. Okay, this is when I can finally <clears throat> change the red. Let's see, we got Let's go Flipendo in in the bottom there. The greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Flipendo. Look at that. You're a natural. Okay. Well done. I might suggest you practice such maneuvers in a moment. All right.
I don't think I can get over to the west yet. That's why I can't do it. Alright, next thing's up is uh, the trial. On the way there, we might as well pick up Oh, that's right, I can actually go ahead and fast travel to this one. I'm already Hey Christian, how you doing, bud? Already head of the game. How inconvenient travel was before I invented glue powder. All right. Just so we can go around and pick up some more of these so we can travel a little quicker. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. We'll come to that at some point. Revelio. Hey, where is the next one? We have one over here. This, when we do Let's Plays in, on live streams, this is kind of what we have to do, everybody. Is we have to go around and and unlock these things. So that we're able to travel much, much, much faster throughout the world. I believe the game is good. Ashley. That's an awesome way to spell that name, too. I love that. I don't know if I've ever seen Ashley spelled A-S-H-L-E-I-G-H. -E I think that's really cool. Ashley. These rocks have seen better days. What are you up to now? These don't show up on your normal map, so you have to do it this way. Nothing to poach in Aaron's sure, except to fight it. Okay, next. We're just doing the ones that are leading up to where we're going, so... I'll go around and circle those later.
There's the tower he was talking about. Gonna be a big area for lots of combat coming up here, for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these balloons since they're right here. momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in mid-air. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Now, if you want to know if a certain place is good enough for you to go to, you need to zoom all the way out. There you go. Now you can see that you need the Libya level from 10 to 25 to be in this area. 20 to 40, 1 to 25, 5 to 20. But you have to kind of go out to see all of this, so. And there's one more right there, and that's where we're going. Travel broadens the mind. Revelio. All right, here we go. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And... I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Quickly now. Hey, you're the one. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to... Pro oh, so you, you get it automatically. Petrificus Totalis. This one permanently incapacitates a weaker enemy. Okay. Revelio. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalis. Petrificus Totalis. Well done. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Oh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Revelio. I'm waiting until he moves. <clears throat> I need to need them a little bit more separate. I don't think you can get them both that quickly. Ah, 
Wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. Petrificus Totalus. Okay. Ooh, now we're getting some good stuff. Wizard kind will submit to us once the war is over. Patricus Totalus. Ravenia. These two are going to stay right there, so this will be our first test if we can do this with them that close. And we can. All right, nice. Orders directly from Ranrock. So that's the tower. Oh, that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Search the tower and the surrounding area. Look for anything to do with the names. What you find here could be the key to goblin kind finally taking its rightful place in the world. Could have done that a little better. Rainrock is the, uh, he's the goblin, right? I will draw blood. All right. Rather I'm wise coming back this way. Expel the arms. Defender. Protagonist. <laughs> Many goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Can't imagine the goblins know. Revelio. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. An unlocking job. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Revelio. Losing a little bit of frames in this room. Yeah, definitely feel the frames going down a lot in this room. And these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Revelio.
Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Remember, guys, if you want to support the channel because these videos are copyrighted, become a member, become a patron, a or do exactly Downstairs, what Brattic just did. Big fan, been following you since Breakpoint first. Some dude. Thank you so much for the donation, my friend. All of that goes directly into the channel, and it goes actually directly into the bills just to literally be able to survive. This is how we get paid. This is our job. So thanks to those that support, and thanks to all of you for liking. Continue to leave a like if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. So again, I can't thank you all enough. Find the entrance to the first trial. Yeah, definitely frames go down in this area for whatever reason. Ugh. Lumos. Rebellion. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Revelio. <clears throat> Probably gonna fight more of those knights looking, knight looking things. Must have done something. Best have a look around. Yes, we got breakpoint. I really had a great time playing with the green. And I bet you, I know it's gotten even more realistic now. I might have to re-download that again and play some more. I still need to finish the uh, Sam Fisher DLC that came out, right? Oh, 
Well, here we go. Rebellion. Anything? Just something over there? Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Revelio. Hello, boss fight, my old friend. I don't have really a lot of things, unfortunately. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. I thought that would be something, but I guess not. Revelio. And over there. What have the keepers planned for me? Levioso. Akio. No, don't fall. It's not that. Uh. What do you think that one would be? Anybody know? Levioso. Depulso. Flipendo. I'm trying everything, but I can't seem to get it to... I don't want to miss out on something. You haven't left yet, huh? He's still here cleaning up. I don't know what I can do here. Did someone spoil something? I am so sorry, everybody. I am so sorry if you just got ruined because someone came in and just spoiled something for you. Oh, a simple hit. Look at you. It's always the most easiest thing, right? Oh, we got some new gloves. Forty-six, thirty-eight, forty-nine, but we can go for the forty-six. I'm so sorry that you guys got spoiled by something. I didn't see it, but I'm sorry that you did. Always got to be some some people that just want to watch the world burn or ruin everything for Rebellion. everybody. So sad. These look familiar. Akio. Levioso. Huh. I think Akio is what brings it to you. <laughs> Gotta get used to what's in my thing here. It's gonna take a while. No, stop doing that one. Do that one. There we go. 
Revelio. Accio. How do you get over there? Huh. There's nothing to grab, see? That platform looks like it ought to get me where I need to go. It's almost as if there's supposed to be one right there. I'm not really sure how to get over to there. That's a brain buster. You know what? It just might have something to do with... This first. Let's see. Look at your feet. I already know about that. Philip, thank you so much. Nice robe. You like my robe, huh? Well, now that's there. Okay, cool. That actually changed it. Akio. Okay, so that's taken me into a completely different room. What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Oh, nice. Revelio. Anything else in here? No. Oh, and that unlocked too. Accio. I must have not put my freezing one in. I don't think I have it in, because I can't find it. I'm trying to find it, and I don't know where it is. 
Oh, I think it is still in this one here. Where's the freezing one? Where did I- where did I put it? Okay, it's... That's the force. That's the freeze. Okay, so that's the one. That's the freeze. making this easy on me once I get used to where everything is I think um, it's gonna uh, I'll, I'll get a lot better at it it just takes a little time to get used to where it all is Revelio. gonna wake up for me oh wake up well, that's one way to make sure he doesn't come back. Revelio. Are you here, Mama? All right. Okay. Well, just call me. Love you too. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. I need to figure out how to get this... ...on the... I think on the other side. Oh. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Yeah. Akio. Nice puzzles. to see how the room changes when I move okay. in and out of the Okay, well, my question is, it's not there. Uh, I'm gonna go over there. Yeah, that one I don't know, because you can't do... You can't move it yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, I think there's another one that I can pull out or something. So that's yes. it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Okay. Does it come out? No. So, okay, it's going to take me a while to figure this one out. What I want to do is I need to be able to go over to there.
but I'm having a hard time seeing how I can get on top of this. So that's it. And that I, I need to be on top of there. Of the way to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. This one is actually really, really kind of confusing me on how I can do this. What do you guys see? On this side is where this thing is. Once you go back into this... Yeah, that's the same. I need to, I think, I need to, yeah, I need to go back through it this way. But then it's gone, see? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Can you go through the portal with... That's a good question. We gotta maybe try that one. Okay, so that's when this thing is here. And that's when it's not here, so maybe send this through the portal. But when it's... Accio. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. That didn't really work. that any closer, see? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. I have no idea what to do. Get to the other side and then try switching? But that doesn't make any sense because... There's nothing I can do when I get to the other side. Yes, I'll get to the other side there, but then... How can I... Get to the other side and then get back to that side after I've went through the other side? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Give me a second. I've got to really think about this. Why am I shaking? You see how I'm shaking all the time now? So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. My brain is severely hurting right now. Okay, I can do this. Look, see? I already know how to do this. Yeah, that gets me there. But it doesn't help me in, in me getting over there. I don't know. Oh my god. You can't pull yourself while on the platform. That would be way too easy. See? You can't pull yourself while you're on it. Just get back to the higher vantage point. What? 
Uh, we're not leaving until we figure this out. Oh, I think I figured it out. Come on. Got it. Woo. All that for nothing, but that's all right. We did it. That should be fine. Woo. That one was a brain buster, man. get used to these floors we did it though we, we don't quit we don't give up and Rebellion. that's why we're able to accomplish what we accomplished because we just we, we never say we never give up that's so cool Using my magic yet because I mean I might as well go ahead and do it. Why not? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to use it yet. Oh. Glaciers. Oh jeez. It's so good. Combat is just really good.
Don't mind if I do. Great talk, thank you. Just joined Discord and I've got ADHD. Channel is very welcoming. It's all. Well, brother, we, sh we share a common bond then, my friend. We most certainly do. Uh, we can't use these yet. Still locked, okay. Did see, I think, one. No, 43, not better. Okay. I know that one's not better, but... And last but not least, just to get the things off. 43, 40, 42. All right. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Okay, but I can't jump back up there. So now I've really got to think. I need to place Things it over. Are definitely different on either side of the archway. But how? Okay, I need Rungardium Liviosa. I think. I think that's what I need. Where is Wingardium? Yeah, that's that one. Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope, so that does not work. Okay, so Wingardium Leviosa doesn't work either. How can I... I think I've screwed myself, actually, being down here. Yeah. There we go. Kind of weird how that works. Okay. So I think. Oh, I'm just a little too far away. There we go. Got it. Accio. I wonder if there's something else. Because why, otherwise, why would you even need these things on this side here? You know what I mean? You don't even need them. Rob on wheels. Thank you so much, bud. Sorry I didn't see it till just now. I was paying attention to that. Rebellion. Thank you, my friend. Uh-oh, we're gonna be in a fight. Only reason why they would give us two of those. Best to take out the small guys first. Thank you. 
Oh, shit. You can miss out on these if you don't get them, so... Oh, why am I doing that? See, I missed it. Dang it. Dang it, I keep... I keep switching when I'm not trying to switch, so I gotta get used to it. I knew I should have kept it for the big guy. get it to it in time. That's a tough one to do. You gotta... You don't have a lot of time to get it. I really want to try to get that if I can. Do the thing. There you go. Places. Got it. All right, now you're mine. Accio. Expelliarmus. Defender. Confringo. Defender. Woo. Man, that is so fun. What a relief. This has got to be one of the best combat systems. I've ever played in the game. Because it's so much fun to think like, okay, so the only way that I knew that I was going to be able to destroy that orb in time was to freeze him. If I froze him while the orb was there, then I knew that I had enough time to destroy the orb. So I had to make sure I used it. Look, I've got those four and then I got these which are all separate. So I could literally do eight spells in a row and then come back to the original four. And you can kind of rinse and repeat that with mixing in a few hits here and there, which really just... Revelio. It's fun. It's so freaking fun. Another pensive.
Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. I'm guessing she ends up being bad then. I see both sides here. I see why she's saying what Every she's saying. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. She gonna get them all. Hmm. You can send me Another a message memory. in Discord and then I'll answer it as soon as I get the chance to. Yes, to of course. Way out of there. But just so you know that that everyone in this community here is just like me and we all can give the advice you need unless you're unless you just want to unless you want it to be private or whatever but don't be afraid to ask any advice from anyone in this community as we are all good people and we all strive to be the best that we can be and all of us are more than more happy to help you stone. that must be the way back to the map chamber What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. 
We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, the Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Okay, looks like chapter one is complete. And now it's time for Autumn. We're already level 21, too. I should ask so I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. I think he is the one that allows us to be able to open locks to other rooms. And things like that. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. And of course now the environment and everything is going to look completely different. Oh, wow, lots of things. Electro bogies. Cast a pulso on a levitated enemy. Room enhancement, then you have the main missions. Cloud One Moon. Beasts class. Man, this game is something. Uh, what do you say we... Alohamora. I'd say we do that one.
Well, there's four different nice seasons in the game. You, my young friend. So we're in the second season now. Then I think winter's gonna come, and then probably summer will end it. Oh, hello. Let's do this one first here. Um, all right, so four equals six. Well, that's so easy. Zero, one, two, and then zero. So that means the first one is um, zero. So the first one is the owl. Second one, we've got to five. I think it's upstairs. Um, second one is five and one is six. So five, zero, one, two, three, four, five is the, the crabby looking thing. And there's one of those two, which we'll be able to get a little bit later. We haven't got it yet. I don't know where it is actually. Well, this is very confusing. Where is it? Where is the second one? There's got there's a second one around here somewhere and we need to find it. Rebellion. Is that it up there? All right, just need to go up. Is that it? Eesh. Hey, let's get his attention. There we go. Okay. Revelio. No, that's got to be the another one. Ah. Uh, all right, well, we're right here. Let's do it. 15 plus 2 is 17. 6, 9, 8, 7, 6. So the frog is number 1. I know it's not a frog, but okay. Next one is cringely thing is nine plus snakes is three. Nine plus three is twelve. Uh, seven. So nine, eight, seven. It's that looking thingy. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, we did that, so now we gotta go back down. So, obviously, I still did not find... ...the other one, so I still need to locate that. We gotta go down quite a bit. Could be in here? No? Don't know who that one is. Must be below us. Could be below us. Rebellion. Go ahead and grab. Okay, that one's already grabbed. Yeah, because there's that. Um, I think it's below. Is that it down there? Is 
It might be below us. It might be the one that's below us. Go and grab this first. Okay. We need to figure out how to go lower. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? There you go. I said four chapters, not forty chapters. <laughs> Okay. Nice job, guys. Hello again. Where's your Mr. cat? <laughs> oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmede has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Thank you, Spooky. I don't know why there are people out there that think because you play a game, you're a... Whatever they said. I'm, I'm not, okay? 
So it's just so sad that people have to be like that, but thank you so much for, for banning them. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Don't worry, Spooky. Alright, here's that lockpicking minigame I've heard many things about. Use L and R to move the sparks and rotate the dial until both corresponding gears. All right, simple enough. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Retrieve the demiguy's moon in the prefect's bathroom. Retrieve the demiguy's moon in the hospital wing. Hello, Hamora. Dear Mibrel, my dear Dot has been asking after you. <laughs> Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones. Even since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. <laughs> but don't give any of those old socks to the house elves. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing I've tried seems to cover that stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, as you two once said in the 80s. Your friend, Serona. Revelio. Oh, this is going to open up the game so much more. Why can't I have a room like this? If I'm the one that does all the ancient magic, why can't I have a room like this? Alright, I'll read this one. This is from the Ministry of Magic, Ferris Spavin. What would he sound like? Let's see. Yeah. Professor Fig, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I am still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the int introduction of the not-so-secret staging penalty in Quidditch, which, uh, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many suspect, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any of our potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. 
I have made note of your concerns, and uh, in as much time allows, the Department of Magic Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into. Schedule permitting, of course. <laughs> We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch finale. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Fadis Spavin, Ministry of Magic. Revenue. I might be a student, but I'm the coolest student, okay? Level 2. Return additional moons to Gladwin Moon in order to learn higher level. Okay, so in order to get into that room, we're going to need to make sure we collect a bunch of these things. Oh, here's another one. Remember, we haven't been over in this area. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures in enemy locations allowing you to scout and remain undetected. Revelio. All right. I'm not going to read that one. I mean, I'll let you guys read that. I'm, I'm not good with the female voices, <laughs> and I just sound ridiculous when I try to do it. All right, so my guess is I'm going to need to get her attention somewhere else, right? Ah, oh, dang it. It's a little dark, so it's a little hard to see it. You guys know I'm going to be spending a lot of my time stealthing as many enemies as possible. Because that is how I play games. Revenue. Okay, five plus spider, which is eight. So eight plus five is 12, 13. So that means it's zero. So first one is an L. Now I don't know. Okay, let me do the first, let me, before I do this one. Three plus that with the head is zero one two three plus two is five so nine so nine is and i can't really is the thing with a bunch of thingies on the thing No, 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 no. This is why we want me to do it. <laughs> Midnight Debonair Ensemble. And she's back. All right. So. I don't think it's worth it for me to do these two rooms right here yet. I can do them at any time I want. 
I don't have to do it during the night section. I could do it during the daytime section. Oh, that's my teacher. Ravadio. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yeah, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. This must be the prefect's bathroom. would allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hide in his hand. Or help. Revenue. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? Well, I'm a prefect too, witch. That's it. Let's be health points. You know you can't do that. Indeed, your I suppose Professor Flash knows his best. But the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff, my <laughs> What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I have heard you. She's been petrified.
Oh, dang it. It's impossible. It's a level two, so I'm wondering if I can sneak in there now, which I think would be hilarious if I was able to, but I don't think it's probably going to happen. This is why I'm trying to wait to see. No. I have to wait till I get level two. Revenue. Unicorn Fountain. Okay, so that's how you get there. I've always wanted how to get there, so now I know. Alright, we got what we came for. Revelio. Don't turn around right now, you little punk. Alright, thank you. We'll come back for you at some point. We'll have time. Hey, they're gone now. be able to sneak by them, but I'm so afraid. Level one. Are they going to stay there? Because if so, I can get in here now. Alohomora. I mean, come on. Why does this game want us to be a thief? <laughs> Revenue. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. 
and I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. You'd think they'd be pretty hard to pick. It's the faculty. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. All right. Revelio. The man behind the moons. You just gotta kind of find them. Let's see how many there actually are. Return. Oh, we only need nine? You can only get them from the statues at night and they allow us to get into other doors. So it might be something that we want to pursue. Hmm. Revelio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, <laughs> famed for his brain elixir and an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Hello, Professor. Hey, you seem to be around my age, so I'd say let's go get a drink. You want to get a drink? You and me? Huh? Look, I'm just as tall as you. I'm really cute. Right? I wear glasses so you know I'm smart. Um, I'm way better at magic than anybody in this entire building. So let's go to your room. I already know how to get in. I'll tell you what. I'll meet you there. All right, let's go. I'll see you in just a few minutes. We'll meet me there, right? You promise? <laughs> um, I kid myself. All right, now I can finally do this one. I think this one was what? Yeah. Oh, that's one we already did. Bomb goes to Palso. You said you wouldn't meet me in my room or your room. Ooh. All right, get out of here. Go on. Aloha, Mora. This is uh, Peeves' area. You got to go really slow in order to feel it. Uh, yeah, my wife brought me some noodles. So yeah, I ate. Just in case Peeves is in here. Fine now, Demi guys. Got to get rid of something, because I I heard that there's something that you 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 can get stuck with a particular thing. So let's just get rid of one that's only sixty. Let's just get yeah. Let's get rid of the one that's sixty. 
I didn't realize I was this full. There we go. Revenue. I do want to know where is the room? Um, the Chamber of Secrets bathroom. Which one's the Chamber of Secrets bathroom? And the one where, um, she also, uh, what's her name? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm drawing a blank on her name. Um, Moaning Myrtle. Which bathroom is the one that they're from? I just don't remember the name of the, the bathroom of the one or where it's located. Revelio. Uh -huh. Wingardium Leviosa. I thought students weren't allowed at, at night, but I'm allowed to freely roam at night. That doesn't really kind of make a lot of sense. Did you guys hear something? Hello, Hamora. It's almost like since we're at nighttime right now, it's the best time and opportunity to go and do this. Alright, so what I want to do now is head into... here. I don't know if I'm allowed in the library. You'll see what I'm doing here. There's one down here. I'm pretty sure there's one down here. I remember there being one down here. I could be wrong, though. Revenio. Yep, it's there. See? Mine now, dummy guys.
Alohomora. Oh, dang it, another one. Crap. Um, dang it. Really need to get rid of everything I have. You want to grab it now and not come back because I heard it stays at the level you're currently at. So if I were to get this later, then it wouldn't be as good. So that is why you need to pick up everything you get at now. Even if you don't have space, you need to make room for it or else you lose out on it. Okay, so we got this one, which was 45. This one is 46. Oh, that means we never got to use the, the tux. Pretty ugly. But I want to keep it on because it gives me the powers I want. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I saw that I have some challenges I need to look at. Pop two sets of balloons while on your broom. Night dancer broom. Is that it? There's just so much fun in this game. But it seems like I'm free to move around and do all that. Is Rebellion. There... Ooh, we gotta find it. It's gotta be in this room somewhere. Probably gonna be up on the second floor. Honestly, I don't see it. Revelio. There it is. It's down. It's okay. Found it. We might not be able to get into it depending on what room it is that we need to unlock. There is somebody in here. Oh, did it just... It must be daytime now. It's not nighttime anymore, so that's why you see them. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? All right, I should have. Glacius. I did it again. Dang it, I forgot. I keep picking things up before I've actually went, so I know I'm losing out on some money, but whatever.
I love how it turned it turned daytime here and all of a sudden students were here. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yes. All right. We have three of them to turn in again. I think we only need three more in the entire game, and then we unlock whatever's in here. Broadens the mind. This Dedalian keys challenge is coming along nicely. Yep. So we just need four more, and then we'll have them all. Look at all, all the ones we've collected already. I haven't met nearly Headless Nick yet, but that's because we're not Gryffindor. Maybe you only see him when you're in Gryffindor, which is kind of sad if that's the case. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. It's honestly not worth to really buy any of this stuff because we end up keep getting things that are all constantly be higher and higher. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. What do we have here? A demigod. There. Ready for a little change in from here, so take at least Clementine Willardy stopped harping on about her silly enchanted butterfly. Mine now, Demi guys. back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you.
thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. <laughs> I know this recent success I am the was reason only the that beginning they have of what that role. <laughs> I can do for broom flight. The reason we that there's a rule that no students we'll are allowed at night is because of me, pretty much. That makes sense. Oh, off to the races then. Wow, that's really. What do you mean, just south? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmead? That thing is like two thousand meters away. That's like so far away. Look at how far away that is. Tell me, oh, it's just south of Hogsmeade. <laughs> I'm going to go and say no, it's not just south of Hogsmeade. I don't even know if I actually have... That's all the way down there. The closest one I have is right here, but I do have one right here at least. Yes, she was a kinky freak. She was also the only student that I know that was over place. 30 years old. <laughs> it's quite hilarious, actually, because her the actor that played her was, like, literally in her mid-30s. Playing, like, a 12-year-old a girl. All right, so a good idea is when we're heading to these things. See, there's one right there. What are you up to now? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Radrocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. If you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? Alright, so there's another... There's got to be another side mission right there that once I have what he's wanting me to have, then I can help him out. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. 
What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. He better so be worth I 300. Stop by. All you had to do was go over there. You can't imagine how we Goblins got you yet? Or did you find some Maxima potion? No, no, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Hey, you gave me a thunder brew. And an invisibility potion, so sure. That's not a bad trade. Let's do this last one and then we'll head there. friend I'm guessing that's got to be it. Up here. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. That's that. Settled.
28. All right, we did it. Now we're at 28. Lots more space now. This could prove dangerous if I lose Rebellion. Hey, so that doesn't work. I think you can only get there. Okay, but you can't land, so what does it want you to do? There has to be a way to get in here with not being able to land. Revelio. Oh, I think it's just right in front of it. Yeah, that's it. It was just right in front of it. Oh, so good that you could pick everything up while you're on your broom. Smart developers, man. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Imelda. What are so, you doing out here at nighttime? Another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Sorry, my wife just sent a message. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best, and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year, and don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I'd say that was acceptable. See what I'm saying? It's so freaking... Brilliant. Oh. It's so hard.
You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of Maybe our because house. you're an a-hole. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. <laughs> Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Second. I still missed it by quite a bit. You got to hit every single one of those. To get first place. I hope... Man, that would be tough, because if there's like a platinum, you have to do that, course. that would be really tough. You ain't gonna have friends if you if you treat like that. You know, you could be the best at something. Here I come. That's fine, but you don't go around dogging everyone else. That's not gonna win you friends. She just doesn't understand that. Hopefully, we get to teach her that lesson at some point. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mister Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the That someone course. easily just went out Brilliant. and beat the second I, I did it. I knew the upgrade <laughs> had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Made it up to level 22.
Jen sent me some pictures of her planting some flowers at her mom's with Ella. That's so cute. Rebellion. That's what I like to see. Ooh, that's right. We can get into these places now. All right, there are so many houses to check. Level two, we just have to make sure we get into the ones that are level one. If there are any level right ones. Now, guys. Oh, is there a Demi in there? Revelio. Oh, there's one in there. You see, we can't get to it because we need level two. Well, from the looks of it, All of these are level two and above. Thank you again for following those push. Hey, all right, all right. Eyes itching, sorry. Oh, nobody sees Hello, us. Homora. I just, you know, went into your uh, house. Rebellion. Nothing to see here. interested in Sure. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Here's getting a little squaggly looking. Revelio. It says locked. Must be a story related thing. What's that called? Brood Peck? So yeah, I'm sure we'll probably be able to be there at some point. Hello, Hamora.
Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I could use the Pero has saved me more broken glass. All right. Guys, I think that's going to be it for today. We did just over five hours. As far as quests go, we're in Chapter 2, finally. So we'll start up with tomorrow uh, with Beast Class, class the Helm of uh, Yurtkot, um, and the Three Broomsticks. Yeah, um, we need to... Actually, you know what? We're not going to quit just yet. Let's do this. Practice flying near the spires. Let's do this. I'm not going to quit just yet. Let's get this first. Fake out, fake out, don't leave yet, fake out. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. You can see the difference in the daytime? Or excuse me, in this in the fall. It looks really good. Jennifer, my wife, would love fall. She loves uh, the way the leaves look in fall time. Who said crime doesn't pay? But I'm practically swimming in galleons. Revelio. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. I've been in here. This is that place I've been in. Yeah, this is that location I was actually in. But how am I supposed to get in there? Wrong one, sorry. 
Und da nehmen wir die aus. Is there another one? We got him, Leviosa. No. Revenio. Must be here. It's got to be there. And then I can climb up there. Let's try that We're one. Climbing, Leviosa. Okay, no, no, I need to fire. I don't have fire on anyone. There we go. I don't need to figure out how to get into that one. That's the only one I can't figure out yet. You need a bigger... Stay right there, yes. Oh, it's still not low. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I don't see the way to get into that one. Is there another thing that we can pick up? Jump down. What do you mean, jump down? Joss, what do you mean, jump Abandoned down? Long ago, no doubt. It will not let me jump up from there, and when I was up there, there was no place for me to jump down. Unless you're talking about jump down into into here, which there's nothing in here. Because I already did this thing. Okay, so maybe I could do Repero. Repero. No, so that's what uh, Green said, Repero on that, but that didn't work either. I know you need to jump down into the thing. Doesn't work either. Only some things you can actually do that with. Nope. What do you guys think?
Indonian Leviosa. Use goat. All right, Jazz, I, I, you're not really helping, bro. <laughs> If I could just get rid of this wood here, then I would be all right, I would think, but... This place has seen better days. It wants you to be confused, and I am. I'm confused, too. There has to be another thing that we can pick up in this area that... that I'm only seeing the one, unless I can... Maybe over here. Uh. Uh. Alright, so that was another way to get that one. Through the hole. Revelio. I have no idea what you're trying. I know you need to go through the hole in the roof, but you got to get to the roof, people. How do you get to the roof? That's the question that all inquiring minds want to know. If you have the answer of how to get into this roof, there, please let me know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Movement's very slow. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, Tyler. I am... I'm not worthy of you. You? You are... The smartest man alive. Seriously. They're gonna create, like... Things in your name, in your honor. That's all I wanted to do was get up here. I could have just used the freaking broom. What an idiot I am. Jeez. I am so sorry you guys have to deal with me day in and day out. You deserve better. You deserve a better streamer than me. Leviosa. Yeah, that's not it. Leviosa. Okay, we gotta figure out how to open this up. We did it last time, and maybe it's still the same. Wingardium Leviosa. How do we get this? It needs to open, but how? One of these things has got to... It says it right there. There we go. It actually says it on the box. It tells you. Intriguing. Lumos. Revelio. Man, I gotta pay more attention.
Is that really all there was? Just the one? Just that? Kinda needs a little bit more than that, I think, in these little dungeon areas. Revelio. But that's it, I guess. See if you can sneak up on animals. No. With the pulsar. This one's the pulsar. Hold on, because I can never remember. There's the pulsar. There we go. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, I don't have enough. This, I mean, there is just so much to explore in this game. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Yeah, I'm still posting. I'm still trying to make a living, still trying to do the best I can. That's all we can ever do, right? Thank you for coming back. see if there's any uh... not really That's it. 
I've used the dark art several times. Can't understand why more don't. They're remarkable. I dream of making a better world for me. Revelio. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hog pen. Or perhaps I'll just go now. I would say that Irondale is not approaching. <laughs> They don't seem to care for me in Hogsmeade. Can't say I blame them, what with all I've done there. Banners are important though, aren't they? Even in a fight. Everyone in Upper Hogsfield shudders when they see me coming, and rightfully so. Come on, buddy, move. Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. We may have an intruder in our midst. I've used unforgiveness. <laughs> Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Come to think of it, months ago I had a brunch. Nice it was. Sparkled like a... Yes! Potato! Stupid one! You're the one! Patricia just took that! Hot to bring down! Akio! Death from above! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave him for last because I want to do his thing. To your knees. Stand and fight. Oh shit. Look what you've done. You fight. Put your fingers to damage. Glacius, Akio, Quite conductive, aren't we? Expulsion! I quit now, while you're still alive. Expulsion! You will not survive this. 
Ah, I couldn't get it off in time. I couldn't get it off in time, man. Don't give me enough time to get it off. Gonna be Okay, in theory, must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Rookwood, don't go down easy. Take the other guys out first. I did it, and an Ashwinder, no less. I don't like the looks of that encampment. All done. Look at that. Nice job. A level three unlock. Why do you even... Why do you need that at all when there's other ways to get inside right there? What's the point of a three lock there? That doesn't make much sense. Ah. We did it. That was really fun. All right, let's get back. You finished your assignment. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. 
Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, it stopped things, slow the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have on it. Very good. Okay. I really don't need those unless I'm in the room of requirement, so. recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible, perhaps before you leave here. A resto moment. That's it. Keep it up. Well done. You are on your way to mastering a resto momentum. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as trials for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Oh, Liquid luck. That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Interesting. What are you up to now? 
We'll do one more mission. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> the game's too fun, right? It's so hard to want to leave it. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting. Why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh, couple of Neasle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjukes. <laughs> <coughs> Stupid thing. Oh. Oh. What in Merlin's name uh. are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please.
Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? You know, you're setting a very bad example for trans rights by being a piece of shit. I believe in, in rights for everyone, trans included, but you're being a complete loser for spoiling everything right there. How dare you grow up, be better, you're pathetic, and yeah, sorry. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Psst, psst, over here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. I'll definitely remember to put it on subscribers only next time. Please meet Highwing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody.
So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right, there you go. Um, I don't know when exactly we're going to have access to be able to use the hippogriffs. But I can't wait for that. That's going to be hella fun. Arrest the moment. I didn't know if it was going to do anything, but I don't think so. You got in here. Oh, level two. Wow, man, the scale of this is so immense. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. I don't know if I've ever been up here yet. This does not look familiar. Ah. Revelio. But I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been ever since. And I said she was up. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I, I invented flu powder. Yes, I if anyone needs help the next day, we'll sign. Revelio. Do a little look around this west tower. Revelio. Can't remember the last time I got one. Not even in person. The passage nondescript, however, a crop left it an odor. Okay. Watch the tile under your feet, you'll set off a something foul. Lumos. Oh, please be careful. Please do be mindful where you walk, won't you?
Well, Madame Tadawa said she's never seen anyone with such form of peace. The headmaster shows no compassion. I deserve it. Duncan owes his reputation to you. for you and I'd better not hear one more peep. Good day. <laughs> oh, this game is just so good. All right, everybody, that's going to be it. We will be back again tomorrow with more uh, Hogwarts. And remember, I will try to keep the only subscribers able to chat tomorrow to make sure that we get less trolls that are trying to ruin it for people. Luckily, I didn't see what they actually said as I banned them pretty much immediately the moment uh, I saw that they talked about stuff. So again, I'll end this conversation with, I get it. I understand why some people are upset, but banning a game like this is not going to do anything. This game is going to sell millions. It's going to be so wildly popular. Um, just don't get it yourself if you don't want it. And, uh, and I'm sorry that it's affected you the way that it has. Okay? Uh, I don't know what else to tell you, but I'm not going to let anything affect what I play video games. This is what I do for a living. Right? There are so many things out there that people say. There's so many stupid things that people say. The world is changing. Right? Uh, cultures are getting different. Uh, um, left versus right. Everything is so political now. And it just, it really, 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 really sucks. So, the only thing I'm going to say is those types of things, even if I don't agree with what she said 100%, doesn't mean I'm not going to play something like this. I've been wanting to be in this world for so long, and I know m millions of others as well. So don't ruin it for everybody else just because of what you believe because I don't give a shit about what you believe when you ruin things for other people and when you bring them down and you do those types of things I care nothing for you in what you believe in I care for what you believe in when you come at me like an adult but when you ruin other people's time with something that they treasure and that they've always wanted to do or whatever it is it doesn't matter what medium it is when you do that I have no respect for you, and you will never gain my respect. Obviously, there's just people that want to come in and ruin the things for people. That's probably what they're doing. All they do is go around. They waste their day going around trying to get people, trying to ruin things. Guess what? It ain't going to work with me. Uh, I, I love it. I don't care if I know every spoiler in this game. I am still going to enjoy it and love it. Spoilers don't ever affect me. It sucks when someone says something, but it's never going to make me, well, I might as well not play it then. <laughs> I mean, that's as little, I mean, it's just stupid. Be better. We have to be better. This world would be such a better place if everyone just loved each other. I hate that there are people out there that don't love each other. And clearly, you must be one of them. So, I will pray for you in the hopes that you become a better person uh, in the future. But, I have no hope in that. Anyways... Love you all. Thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. I will do better at making sure those people are banned quicker for all of you that do watch. Thank you so much for all of your love, appreciation, and again, this is a gaming channel. That's what we do here. I don't care about anything else except for what we play on this channel. Right? Love you all, and I will see you next time. Peace out.